Shaman. Okay, I'll keep Quest plus Tolvir here. The new card in our deck. To see him not... Well, one of the new cards. Ah, uh, yes. I see you are a orc of culture. Questing. Was my main in the road quest? I think it's cool. I have been enjoying it. I will take you with me. I wouldn't say that Ahmed is a key piece of this deck. I'd say that Ahmed is a powerful card in this deck, but I, I, it's not like a, a, a linchpin that you can't function without. I would recommend playing with Ahmed in the deck, but I don't think the deck is is like unplayable without it. Whoa. All right. <laughs> I am indeed using a Herman Miller Aeron chair. I don't know that I even understand it necessarily. And I feel like I, there's a, a piece missing. One of the, the, the like adjustable back pieces like didn't come with it and I didn't notice or like broke at some point and I lost it, but I like it overall. <clears throat> Rude. Hmm. If I attack here in Water Bearer, my opponent can just kill this on board. Attack, attack, attack. Advance for two. I could zilly. I think I don't think I can do anything about that though. I think water is probably just my best option. You yeah. know, I'll make it like zilly axe and kill this, but that leaves this still dying to that. So. I beat control warrior with this deck. I haven't played this version against control warrior. Um, I was playing Mojo Master, which is actually excellent against control warrior. Um, <clears throat> because you can turn off their Omega stuff. Yep, there's your quest. Oh my god, Flesh Reader is so nutty. Wow. Alright. Well, I can Zilliax this attack here. I guess we want to attack here, in case he's like a evolve. Which would make Lady in White work? I mean, Lady in work is not in white, I don't think it's useless, but I don't think it's very good. Okay, that's, I'm happy to see that. If this lives, we're actually possibly pretty good. Oh no, that's not gonna live. Never mind. Now I'm in really bad shape. God, this is just all lined up so badly for me. I don't really want to play any of these things right here. Oh, I should have healed my opponent. You know, I definitely should have healed my opponent. We actually have a completion just from divine him. But it's probably still better to have done that. Uh, wacky. Mm-hmm. It's gotta have a bloodlust by now. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to run Quest Rogue with Tack Prep Espionage for Warrior. No, because I think that scheme is better. Oh, where were you last turn, buddy? Will you make a budget deck video for this expansion? No. I've never made a budget deck video in my life. Mm-hmm. Ow. Okay. Alright, well...
How does Amet interact with Blade Master? Uh, it triggers the Amet, then it damages itself. Earthquake, okay. Sure. Well. I see a dark future. How does it interact with Reborn? They come back with Ahmet's health, which is pretty great. I'm gonna win. Oh my, okay. Hope it doesn't like Earth Shock. Oh right. I I totally forgot the haunted vision. Earth Shock. Okay. Frog champ. see him at it though. Okay, that's actually really good. So we're gonna get Rush Wind Fury. I could also like Hero Power Death it if I want, but this Rush Wind Fury, we make it, yeah. It's a 9-9 Wind Fury now. Why not hear power for Shadow or Death? Because I want to do this and have a 9-9 Wind Fury to kill my opponent with. Opponent doesn't kill this. It's a 12-12 Wind Fury that kills him next turn. Okay, I like the CM out in the deck a lot. Like, this is a lot better than Hero Power, Death your guy, and don't have this in play. <laughs> like, opponent's already used, a, like, all the discovered spells they have, I think. Discovered Mutate, Discovered Frost Shock, Discovered Big Bad Voodoo, Discovered Haunting Visions, Discovered Hex, Discovered Earthquake. Okay, I like CMAT in the deck. I like it a lot. 